That's the orange girl on the bottom there in the middle. Whoops. And Ruby's having none of it. That's the way, girl. Lie down on top of them. That way they can't get to you. This tiger there in the middle, she really, her colours are really stand out. As you can see, her apricot brindle is uh, much darker, the apricot on her, than there is, well, on the, uh, the other girls. You know, the... Anyway, that's the red collar girl she's spooning up too and then behind her on the right is the orange collar girl who's much lighter the red collar girl may end up being an apricot but not the uh, yeah i don't think the orange collar girl who's quite a come over here and actually get some closer shots See, they're big solid chunkies, aren't they? Little fat bellies because they've just had their dinner. This is their dessert. I don't know whether you can tell, but the width across the back here of the orange girl is quite... Of course, she would start wiggling around as soon as I did that quite a bit more than the pink collar girl. Yeah, the pink girl is a bit, <coughs> a bit narrower across the front than the orange girl. That is a nice photo, or a nice shot there of her and mum. Yeah. For the few seconds it lasted. There's a little boy gone. Oops. He's over there. Don't look so disconsolate, Arturo. Puppy, puppy. Oh, funny little bloke. Keeping away from all the girls, I think. That's the orange, uh, the red collar girl there at the front. It's Bessie. Coco underneath. Ruby still looks after them, she still cleans them, checks them, sniffs them, makes sure everything's all right. She's such a good mother. And uh, something she seems to pass on, which is encouraging. Yeah, because Daisy was a good mother and um, Mark and Nicole were saying that um, Sandy's a really good mother as well, especially for a first time bitch. So yeah, that's nice to know. Anyway, I'll see if I can't get some more of them moving once Ruby gets up and starts running away from them. <laughs>